learn how to do profitable email marketing no no email marketing is not dead don't believe that email marketing works it works well we do it every day i make money every day off emails guys now it is true that your emails may not work as good as they did 10 years ago or five years ago but they work and the majority of our income comes off emails and i think most businesses that do it correctly there's the key do it correctly get good results in this video i'm going to show you how to build an email list how to make money off your email list and we're starting right now hey i'm jr fisher welcome to my channel i appreciate you being here don't forget to subscribe big subscribe button down there don't forget bell notifications right next to that subscribe button there is a bell you gotta ring the bell you gotta turn the bell on why well because if you turn on all notifications i can let you know when i do new videos i can let you know when i go live you'll be a vip part of the fisher family that knows about this stuff before anybody else all right so email marketing super important not that hard to do you just need to learn some basics you're going to get them all in this video let's get going okay so what is email marketing email marketing is basically sending emails out to a list that you have and i don't recommend using somebody else's list unless maybe you're buying into their list but don't buy emails just just don't do that build your own email list it's going to be a lot more profitable a lot less work uh, and you'll get better results out of it but basically what you're doing is you're sending your offer out to businesses to individuals to actually generate money now if you don't think emails work it's been proven that 90 percent of adults and 74 percent of teenagers use email on a regular basis so it still works don't believe the hype that it doesn't work anymore now emails are not only a way to uh, sell people stuff but it's also a great way to build a relationship and build loyalty between your customers and your business or yourself number one you got to build a targeted list it's got to be a targeted list you don't want a random list you don't want a list of people who you know are interested in exotic beers and people who like to decorate their house you know th those two may go together i don't know but i would certainly keep them separate for my email marketing purposes you want to make sure they are categorized we have several categories in our email list you know i own a survival food company i have a company that teaches people how to make money online and we keep those things separate okay so you've got to keep them separate now the best way to build your list is if you have a website and i know some of you do some of you don't but if you do is to convert those visitors into actual subscribers did you know that when people visit a website on average 80 percent of them will visit a website and leave and never come back to that website and never subscribe or ever buy anything from you again and that's exactly why i recommend exit pops okay exit pops are great you can do them through kartra i love kartra that's what i use uh, if you don't know what kartra is go down in the description there's a description down there it says kartra you can click on it and when you do you're going to go to a page you don't have to opt in you don't have to buy anything and there's a video that shows you how it works and if you're interested and you use that link you can actually get a trial for only one dollar now here's a cool exit pop i'm putting on the screen right here um, exit intent pop-ups direct user behavior to prompt them with a targeted campaign at a precise moment they're about to leave your site forever the smart technology can skyrocket your conversion so you see this one here is want to get you some recipes products events and coupons sign up now exit pops can really help you build your list uh, as long as you're giving them good content don't do an exit pop that says join our email list nobody wants to join your email list okay uh, there was a time when we all enjoyed getting emails because we never got them but we get we get sufficient emails now okay we don't need to join your email list we need to get a benefit of joining your email list so make sure there's a benefit there now the next thing i'll tell you number two is know your goals what are your goals what, what's your purpose so when you're sending out these email campaigns they should all have a different purpose they should not have multiple purposes within one okay these should be separate so one of your email campaigns should be a welcoming campaign to welcome new subscribers this should be emails that just go out and say hey thanks for joining our list this is what you can expect uh, i'm going to give you content you know three days a week uh, and then every now and then i'm going to tell you about our specials and then we'll announce any webinars we have just give them a list of what to expect the biggest problem i see is that you know people will send out an email that says thanks for joining our email list okay but what's going to happen from here i want to know i want to know what it is now 
if you're sending one out that says we're going to give you content and every now and then we're going to tell you about a special that way they know to expect a marketing email that's going to be coming later on and those people who don't want marketing emails can just go ahead and unsubscribe and you don't have a problem with spam or any of that because it gives them an opportunity to do so once they find out what they're going to get from your list the next type of email will be to boost engagement okay this is where you want to get people engaged with your company um, it may be content it may be you know telling them that you're gonna have a webinar or you're gonna have a training course and they can sign up for it so you're getting them more involved with your actual company the next form of emails is a nurturing email and what that means is I'm going to give them content. I'm going to give them helpful hints. I'm going to give them downloads. I'm just going to give them information that's going to make them feel better about me and my business. And that way we're going to kind of nurture them, make them feel good while they're on the list. The next type of email campaign is a re-engagement campaign. Now a re-engagement campaign is going to be directed to people who haven't opened your emails in a while, who haven't clicked on anything in a while to try to get them re-engaged. You know, you can say something like, Hey, you haven't uh, opened our emails in a while. You haven't looked at our stuff in a while. And I want to give you this, you know, $99 value, you know, uh, widget for zero. You know, if you just click here and re-engage with our company. So that helps a lot. And then if they don't, of course you want to take them off your list because all they're doing is bogging down your list. You don't want people on there that aren't engaged. The next form of email campaign is segmenting. Okay. So I may want to segment my, my list. Maybe I'm selling uh, pet products and I sell all types of pet products for dogs and cats and birds and all that. And what I may do is I may send an email out that says, do you have a dog? Do you have a cat? Do you have a, you know, a bird, whatever it is. And when they click there, which one they have, I can take them to a page with products for that, but I can also tag them as a bird owner, as a cat owner, as a dog owner. And later on, when I go to send a campaign out, if I'm selling bird cages and I want to sell a lot of bird cages, I'm not going to send it to people who have dogs who don't have birds. There's no point in doing that. It's a waste of emails, but a person could have a dog and a bird. And if they get both those tags, they're going to get both of those emails. Okay. Okay. The next thing, which is number three is understand the email types. This is super important to do this. One of the forms is promotional emails. Obviously a promotional email is I'm promoting something. I want to sell something. So that's a different form of email from all the other ones I've just talked about. There's also transactional emails that you're going to want to send out. Um, that could be subscriber sign up forms. It could be uh, welcome messages. It could be order or purchase confirmations. Once they've actually bought something from you, it could be acknowledgments of uh, subscriber information. Once they've changed information. Now, these types of emails are generally going to be automated and they're going to be triggered by some dynamic uh, behavior that the customer did to trigger this particular email number four I want to tell you know your audience this is super important that you know your audience you know what's going on with them you know who they are now Facebook insights you know if you've got a Facebook page or a group or something like that you can actually use insights here and it will tell you you can see from this graphic on the screen it's gonna kind of tell you who your audience is which helps you target more people to get in your audience and get on your list number five use technology wisely nowadays it's so much easier i know when i started out i started out with uh, constant contact and i had aweber and i had infusionsoft and mailchimp and all these different mail services but the best one now by far and i'm gonna put a link below don't worry you're gonna find out about it is kartra kartra is the best because it incorporates so many of these other platforms all into one i, I got rid of eight pieces of software when i got kartra kartra is amazing so if you're really working on building your business, you want a long-term source to do this uh, and platform. You want to go down in the description. Now there's a link for Kartra. It's going to take you to a video absolutely free. You don't have to opt in. You have to give a credit card or anything, and it will tell you all about Kartra and what Kartra will do for your business. If you're interested, you can also get a trial for only $1, $1, pretty cheap. And, uh, you can start off with Kartra and start building your list number six is create great opt-ins okay we need people to opt into our list we need that on a daily basis we are not getting opt-ins you know after a while you're always going to have unsubscribers that's just going to happen uh, email is going to go bad people are going to stop using that email they're going to change their email so you got to constantly be building your list and you need great opt-ins now you can buy opt-in software but if you have Kartra it's already built into it I just told you about Kartra and they have they have opt-ins that already are proven to work and all you have to do is fill your information into these opt-ins and boom you can start collecting emails there's all types of opt-ins there's light boxes there's exit intent pop-ups and exit intent is nothing more than when somebody moves their mouse 
you know to the edge of the screen all of a sudden a pop-up will come up and say wait don't leave yet get my 29 dollars report by clicking here um you you've all seen them um, those are great and they are built into Kartra and you get those with that software now for best results um, if you have a blog you may want to put some opt-ins off to the side you may also want to have pop-ups if they're exiting um, you may want to have pop-ups within your actual blog where they can click and a pop-up will come up and they can get that information so it, it you don't have just one okay you have different pages you have different places different types depending on what they're reading maybe they're reading about SEO on your site well you may want to pop up on that particular page that teaches an SEO the five rules to SEO or something along those lines make sure it's related to the page they're on number seven you want to plan your emails and follow-ups okay this should not be done haphazardly um, this should be an automation and you can once again build all this in Kartra a good approach to note is you want to think about the email frequency how often you're going to do it now I like to send an email almost every day uh, you also want to think about the types of emails because we talked about all those you want to have a rough idea of what that content's going to be and of course the main action you know do you want to get subscribers do you want to get sales whatever it is if you put those components down when you're writing your emails you're gonna be a lot more successful now I'll give an example here uh, Asana which is a project management type of uh, a software that you use online they send out four emails okay they'll, they'll welcome you to Asana when you sign up um, they'll tell you what you want to set up for let's say ne next week okay I want to do X number of things next week you can put those in your system uh, and then we'll have a plan your day with Asana uh, they send out a series of emails for that and then they talk about the actual goal of what your project is so they break it down to those four components and it seems to work pretty well for them number eight craft your subject line your subject line is so important your subject line should not should not tell them everything that's in the email if your subject line is get 20 percent off on men's sweaters today and it's a woman reading it or it's a 14 year old boy i guarantee you they're not going to open your email because they already know what's in there um you know i like to put a little bit ambiguous type of um subject lines to get them to open the particular email a subject line is for nothing more than to get them to open it uh, i've used subject lines like boom this just happened uh, or i can't believe this just happened or did you see this in the news shorter subject lines will get higher open rates than long ones that describe everything's in the email because they don't need to open the email if you put everything in the subject line now here's an interesting graph i'm going to put up here and it shows you the message with this subject line length and how likely they are to open it and what the read rate is uh, and you can see it's pretty high um, on the beginning there where you have zero to ten words and eleven to twenty words uh, and it's also pretty high when you have a whole bunch of words but right in the middle there not so high so i would suggest you doing shorter ones or much longer ones next thing you're going to do number nine is write your copy make sure your copy is clear and concise make sure you only have two or three sentences per paragraph make sure the font is big enough i like to use a 20. Um, if you use those rules your emails are going to get read a whole lot better and number 10 you want to focus on your email design okay make sure it's a clear clean crisp design don't have tons of images in there don't have a whole lot of different things for them to do have one thing for them to do in that particular email whether it's download something whether it's buy something whether it's opt-in for a webinar but just one thing per email and then the last thing number 11 test and track you can't send out emails and never look to see if anybody's open them see if anybody's clicking um, that's the whole purpose now it's a good idea to split test where you have two different headlines or two different images two different messages if you do that you'll be ahead of everybody else because most people don't check their analytics now get Kartra which is down below here and it'll do all that for you automatically it will send half of one type of email out to your group and then half of another type it does it automatically it gives you all the statistics and then you can decide based on the numbers which one you want to keep okay guys so that's it for your email course here today I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment below super important that you do that let me know what you've tried what you haven't tried maybe some email providers you tried I love Kartra give me a reason not to use Kartra I can't find a reason not to use Kartra maybe you can I can't put your comments below don't forget to subscribe if you have questions put those below too after you subscribe there's this there's this there's a bell there's a bell right next to the subscribe button why wouldn't you hit that why wouldn't you and then turn on all notifications that way you'll become part of the Fisher family the VIP group that gets notified before anybody else I mean you're ahead of everybody else you can get a jump in front of the line and hear these videos for anybody else you don't have to go searching for them that is awesome thank you so much for listening to this video and I'll see you in the next one